Hi guys, this is Faye of Tales of Faye, and for this video, we are going to talk about my record collection, which is quite heavy. <laughs> and also, they're not... I don't have a huge collection yet, and the reason is I just recently started. So, yeah. And I've already spent a lot of money for this babies. Also, some of them are also gifts, so unlucky me. So the reason that I started collecting vinyls and some people are just asking why it's so expensive and we already have computers, we have mp3s, we have our phones and the reason is I love antiquated things, retro things, vintage things. Since I was a child, I've always wanted to have a record player but the reason that I just started collecting records is because I didn't have a player at all. And it just so happens that there is this online shop that sells secondhand things and they have a variety of portable record players. And I bought one and it is this one that I have here, which I'm going to show to you later. And that's how it started. And the very first vinyl, or the vi and the very first record that I bought is the sound of music, do re mi fa so la ti do. And I've always wanted this because I don't know this this movie has the best soundtrack or it has one of the best. There's hair here. Whose hair is this? not mine because it's short oh my god maybe the pre pre maybe the previous owners and also just so you'd know all of this vinyls all of this just so you know all of these records that I have here all of this these were bought from one store but not at the same time and it's a store in Clark it is owned by an American and a Filipino and they sell a lot of secondhand things and also a ridiculous amount of records as you can see here that's me having a good time okay so here we have the sound of music and it's a Japanese edition as you can see it's in Japanese but there are some English words written but for the lyrics and for this part it's in Japanese and if, if I'm correct um, I think this is about 600 or 700 pesos and my favorite music here is Edelweiss oh, I love it I don't know it's something about how it is sang and accompanied by usually by a guitar only and its lyrics Edelweiss Edelweiss Every morning you greet me. Next, my second purchase is this one. It is this is actually in German. Leader. I think that's like music or song in German. Yeah. And these are some compositions by Mozart, but it has a German man singing along with the orchestra. I have been self-studying German and I have here I can translate some of these but not all like Das Kinderspiel I think that's like the children's play something like that and let me show you and here we have here this Kleinen Friedrichs Geburtstag Ah, my pronunciation! I'm so sorry. Geburtstag is birthday. That's the name. And Kleinan is like small. And I got this for 300 pesos, which is such a good goodbye. And something that I noticed about this shop, most of the classic songs or classic plate records that they have are affordable. They're around 250 pesos to 300 pesos. But... The ones that are soundtracks of movies, just like this one, Greece, they're ridiculously expensive. This is 1,300 pesos and this one, I didn't buy this, my mother bought this for me, but, but 
to be honest, I'm not really a fan of Grease, but maybe soon I'll learn to love this one. And that's why I'm not familiar with the songs that they have here. And another one from my mother is Flashdance. And this one is also expensive, 1,300 pesos. And to be honest, I'm not really familiar with Flashdance too. Um, just so you know, my mother bought these records. She actually bought me four records and I actually like two out of the four records. I love the two other records and you'll see why. <laughs> Next are the other records that my mother bought me, which is more affordable than the other two ones that I just showed you. This one is worth 500 pesos and my neighbor is using his hammer again. Let's just disregard that at the background of this video. Okay, we have here, I'm not really sure what one-way ticket is, one-way ticket. One way ticket. Filipino pronunciation. As you can see, these are some of your popular hits that most of them I'm more familiar with than with Grease and with the Flash Dance songs. Now, even though that I don't know the other songs, I still could relate to them and it's right around my corner. Next is this one, and this one says love letters in the sand, not one-way ticket, and this is worth 500 pesos, and here, I love the song Tammy by Debbie Reynolds, Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love, love letters in the sand, um, I'll be home, I love that too, and what else? So yeah, not familiar with the other songs, but when I hear it, when I play it on my record, I don't skip them at all because I love the songs of this era. Also, just so you know, I was supposed to buy a Frank Sinatra um, record, but it was quite expensive and if I buy that one, then I wouldn't be able to buy these other records that I have here. So I'll just return to that store next time and buy my Frank Sinatra record. It's about 2,200 pesos. Next is this Carpenter's record. This is their Solid Bear album. Is it right to call it album group? I'm not sure. And they have songs here that I am quite familiar with. Yesterday once more, solid there, only yesterday, uh, Desperada, others I'm not quite familiar with, but it's the Carpenters. And I wasn't supposed to buy this edition or this record of the Carpenters. I was supposed to buy something that was more, how much was this? This is 1,650. I was about, I was supposed to buy a like 1,300 pesos Carpenters record but then um, every time I buy from just so you know <laughs> sorry I'm not really good at storytelling um, every time I buy from that store in Clark um, in pure gold uh, I always test and look at the records and so this 1,300 pesos Carpenters one um, when they opened it there was no record inside, so someone stole it from their shop. And that's why I ended up with this one. But, well, still a good buy, but quite more expensive than the one that I intended to get. Next we have here is this. This is very affordable. This is only 200 pesos. This is another classic, Tchaikovsky. And the reason that I bought this is... It reminds me of ballerinas and their grace and the classicism of their dance and also in Japanese so I can't I can't really read except for the ones at the front <laughs> has here the Swan Lake Ballet the Sleeping Beauty Ballet the Nutcracker Ballet and yep and it's by the Philadelphia Orchestra and some of these records are really old and this one I'm not sure how old it is and lastly, we have this. This is my cheapest so far. 
And this is the Amateur Academy Moon Rider. So let me just take it off from its plastic. And I got this for 100 pesos, which is almost, well, around $2 US dollars. And the reason I got this, it's not because I know the band or I know some of their music. And it's because of the cover. <laughs> and this one, I got, I got this because I love the cover, black and white. And has some people riding bikes and I love bicycles and when I played it they actually have some very weird song names if these are song names and I believe they are song names look YBJ 30 G O A P B Tough S E X they're not actually names they're just one is a number and the other is their acronyms. And the I actually met the owner of the shop and this is initially worth 200 pesos and he played this song, um, he played this record player and he was like, okay, let's play the mystery one because I, I actually intended to play this record at home but then, well, I didn't want to, well, just a lot, well, I just went along with him with playing this record at his store and actually got a discount because of that and it's kind of, it's kind of a I don't know it's very avant-garde for me their music and you can't really you can't you can't really understand much of their lyrics and maybe that's because of their accent or I'm not really sure but yeah, love the cover, the songs, I don't know, I'm not really, I'm not really into their music, maybe not yet, but yeah, still a part of my collection, I have quite mixed feelings for it, <laughs> but guys, let's end this video now, <laughs> so yeah, these are all my records, here we have them all and thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below anything you want to about this video of course and yeah thank you guys for watching bye here is my record player that i was talking about and it's just this portable little not so special record player but for me for others it's not special because they preferred the big and more good quality kind of speakers but yeah i'm happy with this one not really planning to buy another player because these are quite expensive and what i love about this is you can use this without it being plugged so yeah love this record player and it's portable looks like a suitcase not that heavy much so yeah that's my record player guys I just searched Moon Riders and I believe they're a Japanese band.